Hey guys, welcome to my first quarantine yoga flow. Um, the first one I'm going to post today is a stress relief flow. And this is some moves that I like um, that just really help me relieve tension. A lot of hip openers, chest openers, and just relaxing moves. A lot of swaying too, because I feel like that's just what keeps me calm and helps me relax. So we're gonna start on the mat sitting on your knees and just going to start by rolling the shoulders back, taking deep breaths. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And then we're going to just extend the arms and roll the arms back, making a windmill motion. Now we're just going to stretch the wrist up Interlocking the fingers. Reaching high, you can even um, stretch out to the side, to the other side. And little body circles, warm up the back. And reverse. Are you going to reach the arms up and then pull the elbows down? This is cactus pose. Again, we're just opening up the chest, stretching out the back and the shoulders. And some gentle head rolls. Be gentle with these, maybe a little bit shallower in the back, deeper in the front. And reverse sides, so just Go clockwise and counterclockwise. I carry a lot of tension in my shoulders and my neck, so I like to really stretch this out. I'm going to take my hand and gently pull my head to one side, and then using my other arm to hold down to my thighs just to kind of like get a deeper stretch, and then switch sides. Now we're gonna go onto all fours, placing your hands shoulder width apart, hips shoulder width apart. And you're gonna suck in your tummy, take a deep breath in, and then exhale, release the tummy, release the back and the head. And this is cat and cow. Keeping that same in and out motion, we're going to do circles. So I like to circle the head and the stomach at the same time. These feel so good. It just kind of makes everything gooey and relaxed. And now we're going to take a little bit deeper of a sh shoulder stretch. You're going to place your arms out in front of you, gently pushing your chest to the ground. Keep breathing. Couple more breaths. And release back up. We're gonna work on our wrists. So you're just gonna do small circles with your hands on the ground. And this helps relieve tension in your wrist.
And now we're gonna push up into down dog. And walk the dog. So you're just gonna bend your knees really smooth. And if you're ready, you can go ahead and do a little squat with the legs, bending the knees. Go up onto your toes. Once you feel good with that, we're gonna go into plank. So pulling the tummy nice and tight, we're gonna chaturanga down to the floor. Push up into up dog. If this feels for good, you can release your head back. And then back to plank, back to down dog. And you can go ahead and continue to walk the dog. This feels so good, I love this move. And then when you're ready, we're gonna go back to plank. Chaturanga down, back to up dog. Plank and back to down dog. We're gonna head back down to our knees. We're gonna go into child's pose and just take a minute to breathe. And we're gonna do a shoulder stretch. You're gonna place one arm underneath the other arm, stretch to the side. and then switch arms. Back to all fours, back to down dog. And pulling the tummy in tight. We're going to do these little flows where you take a breath in, pull the stomach up, go to plank, down to chaturanga down, and push back, back to down dog. Awesome, now just take a moment. We're gonna do in reverse. So you're gonna scoop down to the floor, push up, back to down dog. And coming back down to your knees, down to child's pose. Now we're gonna do another stretch. So you're gonna walk your hands to the side. Let the chest fall down. And then we're gonna walk the hands to the opposite side and relax. Back to down dog. We're gonna slowly walk the hands, the feet to the hands, and then taking your hands off the, the floor, we're gonna lock elbows and just rock gently, sway side to side. I'm doing little pulses. This just feels good and helps me deepen that stretch a little bit. Keep swaying and breathing. And 
Now we're gonna go down into a squat. And then you're gonna use your elbows to push your knees out. And again, I'm just gonna sway a little bit side to side. And I'm gonna reach one arm over, getting a little bit deeper of a stretch, and switch sides. And I'm gonna place my hands on the ground, and you can just hang out right here, or if you're feeling up to it, you can place your hands behind your feet, gently lean back, and then lift your legs off the ground using your elbows to stabilize your legs and straightening them out. And back to our deep squat, swaying back and forth. Now we're gonna go into crow's pose so you can place your hands in front of you on the ground, rocking forward, keeping your knees up into your armpits on your elbows and lifting your feet off the ground. Keep breathing. And come down. We're gonna go back to child's pose and just take a moment. And coming back to all fours, we're going to come up onto our knees and gently lean back, releasing the head. Back up. And now we're gonna reach back, find the elbows, or sorry, find the ankles and go into a back bend. This is camel pose. This feels so good. It just opens up your chest and stretches out your back. And release. Now staying with the knees out, we're gonna lean back. This is gonna stretch out your quads. Just take a few moments here. And then slowly come out of that pose. Back to down dog. And we're gonna do a little hop up to our hands, reach up. And swan dive down, grabbing the back of the legs. Into monkey. And down. Step back to down dog. And we're gonna go ahead and lift one leg as high as you can get. Pull the knee to the chest, back up to one-legged dog, and then place the foot between the hands and lift up into warrior one. And we're gonna do a little side stretch here. And then I'm just going to drop the hip down to place the hands inside the knee and just let the hip drop all the way down to the floor. And back to down dog. Hop up to the hands. Big stretch up. 
and dive back down, grab behind the legs, flatten your back, back to down dog, switch legs, so now lift up the other leg, and same flow. So we're going to pull that knee into the chest and back up. And place it between your hands. And to warrior one. Side stretch. And placing the hands inside the leg, you're going to drop down to your elbows and let your hips sink towards the ground. Back to down dog. Go ahead and lift up the opposite leg. We're going to go into Pigeon Pose. You can drop down to your elbows if you want. And back up to down dog. Other side, so sw switch legs. Bring the knee down to the floor. Into pigeon pose. And release coming back up. Back to down dog. And we're gonna go ahead into pyramid pose, changing into the side lunge. And I just like to swing back and forth. This feels really good on my hips and it just feels super relaxing. And I'm going to go down to one leg, reach over to the side, stretch the other side, and switch legs. Rotating sides and back to the middle. I'm just going to hang out here in the middle for a second, interlacing my hands behind my head. You can hang out right here, or you can go ahead and press up into your headstand. And you can hold your handstand, or you can go ahead and sway your legs. And come down. I'm going to go ahead and make my way to the floor. Go ahead and hug your knees tight to your chest and rock back and forth. And then grabbing one knee. You're going to press it to the opposite side. 
and then switch, pulling on one knee and then twisting to the other side. And now placing your fingers between your toes, you're gonna open up to happy baby. And you can gently rock side to side. Now I'm just going to lay down in final resting pose, just letting my shoulders sink into the floor. Take a few deep, deep breaths here. And then once you're done, you can go ahead and gently roll to your side. And make your way back up. Thank you guys for joining me for my stress relief yoga flow. I hope you enjoyed it.